Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 412. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Trick 407 to 414. Hey, this trick is in response to Excel Magic Trick 387, where we did data validation drop down list uh, with relative cell references. Dave from Florida says uh, he had a bunch of lists like here. Uh, off to the side and he wanted to add a drop down so the way I did it I had some extra spaces at the end uh, but you could use the offset function so I'm gonna click in this cell right here and I'm gonna use the keyboard by the way offset function I'm not gonna go into great detail about what it does I have a great uh, bunch of videos on offset and there's always notes in the workbooks when you download them. Offset basically can deliver a, a dynamic range. So if I say highlight this range and I add a new thing to the bottom, the offset will pick it up and include the whole range. So we're going to use data validation. Alt D L is the keyboard shortcut that works in uh, all versions. We want to allow what? Remember this is we're validating the cell. Only some things can go in. We want only these items. I'm going to say list. And guess what? You're not limited to highlighting a range. You can put a formula here. So we'll say equals offset. And offset will is a function that will define a dynamic range. Well, we're going to start our range, remember, because our goal is to get um, the data validation list in this cell from this column, this cell from this column. So the offset has five arguments. The first thing is, hey, where is the starting cell? I'm going to click there, and I'm going to hit the F4 key to uh, lock it, because it's a relative cell reference. As we copy this uh, actually empty cell, but the data validation <laughs> will copy over, we want the cell reference to move from the beginning of this column to there. Okay, that's the first argument. The next two arguments are, do you want to move away from this starting position? We don't, so I'm going to put a comma for don't move up and down any rows, comma for don't move up and down any, uh, move left or right any columns, and then comma, how tall is this range? We're going to use count uh, now count uh will count non-blanks. And this trick requires that you don't have anything below it. There's nothing that's not below it. That's hanging out from another cell. Now, I'm not going to highlight the whole column. I'm actually just going to highlight from, say, G2 down to G100 or something. By the way, there's nothing in those cells right there. That's stuff hanging out from other cells. So I'm going to go down to, by the way, I could have typed, typed this out say 100. I don't, because I'm assuming that my lists are never going to get uh, bigger than 100. And then I'm going to hit the F4 to lock it, because those need to be relative cell references. Again, those dancing ants, uh, they're in this formula inside of data validation, which are going to be in this cell. When we copy this cell over to here, the dancing ants will move over to this next column. Close parentheses. That is how um, tall it's going to be close parentheses, we can just leave off that last argument, how wide is it, and then uh, click OK. Now let's go ahead and see if this works. Sure enough, it gets a 17. What about if I copy this over, like that? Uh, 4 should be item 41, and sure enough, it is all the way to 53. Let's go ahead and see if we add something down here. Rad. Does this now have rad at the bottom? Sure enough, it does. What about, um, what if I were to copy this down, like down to 25? Does this one now have 25? Sure enough. OK, so we saw data validation with relative cell references like we did in the last video, but we used offset. We also saw that you can copy um, a cell with data validation, and it copies the data validation over. All right, we'll see you next trick.